to solve another lead code problem, 308, read some query to the mutable. So compared with 307, so this problem is just a 2D array, and it is also mutable. And the operation is going to be similar. So I'm going to use the template from here. Yeah, so let me explain a little bit about uh, this template. So basically, we need uh, the operations. This is the initialization. We're going to prepare a zero at index zero. Basically, we will not use it. But for this operation, it's it going to be uh, easier for us to uh, update all those uh, uh, numbers. So we will not use index zero. We're going to directly use index one. Uh, so for the initialization, basically we're going to initialize a uh, self.tree array. So this array will be prepared uh, for us to uh, finish all other calculations like the end and the sum. And this p is the parent of i. Basically we want to find the parent, and if the parent is less than the length of the array, we're going to update the parent. So the parent should plus the value from the self.tree.i. Yeah, so we're going to enumerate uh, from 1 to n minus 1, and we're going to update all the values for the array. Yeah, so for example, this is a, a index 0, it is OK. It is a 0, it doesn't matter. For example, index 1, if it is a 1. So for index 2, it's going to be, so for example, index 2, the value is also 1. So we're going to update it. So 2 is 1's parent. So the parent should plus equal to the low bit. So when the low bit is 1, so here it's going to be updated to 2. So this means 1 plus 1, so here it's going to become 2. Yeah, so for example, for the index 3, it is another one. For the 4, for index, uh, yeah, so for index 3, it's going to be updated to 4. 4 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. And, uh, and this 2 also plus, uh, uh, 2's parent is also 4, so it's going to be updated to 6. So this 4 is the sum up of all of them. Yeah. Uh, so this is a 1 and this is 4. This is 1 and 2. Uh, this is the uh, initialization. And I think uh, I prepared uh, a low bit. And this low bit is very important for us to understand uh, why we're going to use the binary index tree. And this is the hard part of the binary index tree. Actually, this low bit is a very clever way to finish all those calculations. For the initialization, it is finding the parent, so you can remember it like it is increasing. So it means i should plus self dot low bit i. It is increasing because we want to find the parent. So this is the child we want to find the parent. Child is i, so i want to find the parent. So we're going to use plus. And here is another one for the end. And is just uh, we're going to add a number to uh, the index. So for the add operation, uh, so for example, yeah, let me first explain uh, maybe, maybe the sum operation. So the sum operation is uh, similarly, for the sum operation, for example, we're going to sum a value. For example, we're going to sum a value. Uh, some value from uh, index 1 to 7, so for example. Yeah, if we use uh, i equal to 7, basically it means from index 1 to 7. So this is uh, uh, the structure of the uh, template. Um, basically, if it is like that, for the sum operation, we're going to first plus equal to the self dot tree 7, and then it's going to be smaller and smaller. So this is going to be decreasing for the sum operation, maybe. Uh, so it is self dot tree 7 plus self dot tree. Uh, 6 and plus self dot 3 and uh, 4. I mean after the low bit operation it is a 7 and then 4. 6 and then 4. So for the beta representation it is 1 1 1 and then it's gonna, gonna become 1 1 0. And then we're gonna flip the low bit it's gonna become 4. And then it's gonna become 0 0 uh, 0. So we're gonna go out of the loop for the sum. Yeah. So it is a decreasing for the sum. And another one is for the end. Yeah, so the end is increasing. So for example, we want to add from index i to a number, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, yeah, we want to add a number, maybe, uh, yeah, just a random number at index 4. So what we're going to do, so it's going to be increasing. So first of all, it's going to be 
one zero zero. And then we're gonna use i plus the low bit. It's gonna become one zero zero and zero. We're gonna yeah plus the value self dot three uh, eight. So the plus equal to this k. And then it's gonna go to sixteen and thirty two. So until this i is more than and equal to self dot n, the length of the array. Yeah. So if you understand basically about uh, those three areas and sum and uh, Innate area. So basically, others is uh, easier. So this is just a low bit operation, and this update is just concerned with the end and the query. This query is just to check, uh, yeah, the values from L to R inclusive. Now we, if we understand about the template, we can use it directly to solve the problem. Uh, so the problem is uh, that we're going to have an innate update and uh, some region. So the update is just update uh, a random value inside of the matrix. So we have a row and a column and a value. So for, for example, at uh, this prison, this is row, row 2 and column 1, we're going to up update a value. For example, this is a 2, going to update it to 4. And then we're going to calculate the range sum. So it is the sum region. The sum region, for example, it is a region areas. It is maybe this areas or maybe uh, this areas. We're gonna sum up all those numbers. Yeah. So it is the dynamic update and with the sum region. So we cannot use the prefix sum to solve the problem. So we have to use a, a binary index tree or segment tree to problem to solve the problem. Yeah. So for this example, I'm gonna try to. Uh, use binary index tree. If we have the template, we can use it directly. Directly, as binary index tree is used for to solve a 1D array. As you can see, it is a 1D array. But here, we are giving a 2D array. So first of all, we're going to turn that 2D array to a 1D array. So self dot tree uh, should equal to binary index tree. And we, we're going to turn this matrix from 2D array to a 1D array. We can use a sum in Python with the matrix. And we're gonna give a value. It is array. So after that, this matrix from 2D array, it's gonna be turned to a 1D array. Yeah. So basically, if we are giving something like this, so it is a 2D array. And then we we just connect them together. So this operation sum matrix with an array, we're gonna just connect them together. We're gonna turn it to a 1D array. And then we're gonna do the apt, update and sum region in a 1D array. Yeah, even it is a 2D array, but we converted it to 1D array and we put it into the binary tree template and then we're gonna um, use it directly. Now, we are going to update uh, a value. So this value is gonna be the row and column. So this is inside a 2D array, but we're gonna turn, turn this point into a 1D array position. So we're gonna uh, need to prepare self.r and uh, uh, self dot column. It's going to be length of the matrix, and uh, yeah, the length of the matrix uh, zero. And we just need to know what is the row and column because we gonna use it for the calculations to turn the two D array to one D array. Currently, we are giving a point row and column, so we want to find where is the position in the one D array. So the position gonna be index i. So it's going to be row times the self dot column, so plus the column. So this is going to be the position. And then we can update it directly. And this formula is very popular while we are solving the 2D array to 1D array problems. So uh, if, you are, uh, if you did some problems in unified for 2D matrix, you're going to also turn it into a 1D matrix. It's going to be similar like this. So the formula should be easier. So for example, it is a uh, row 0 and column 1. So this is row 0 times uh, any number is going to be 0 and column 1 is going to be here. It's going to be exactly the same. Yeah. Now we can update the uh, value. So self.trade.update. Uh, so we're going to directly uh, find the position index and then update it. Yeah. Uh, let's just check the self.update. So it is the index uh, with number. So this is the index. And uh, this is a, a number. Yeah. After finishing the updating, uh, we're gonna solve the sum region. So it's gonna be uh, similar. 
uh, we're going to prepare a result and then we're going to prepare the row so for row in range uh, row 1 to row 2 plus 1 and then uh, we're going to sum up all of them so result plus equal to so this is uh, some reason actually we can use a query uh, to check all the uh, result yeah so the query are going to be Similarly, uh, we can use uh, uh, this formula. We just need to copy it. Yeah, let's just copy it. So it's going to be row times self.c plus column uh, 1. So this is the left side. And then we can copy it and use it for the uh, right side. So row times self.c um, plus uh, column 2. Yeah, so this means we're going to um, check one row by another row and by another row and we're going to sum up all of them and finally we can um, return the result yeah. yeah now let's analyze a little bit about the time complexity here uh, before here all the operations this is all n and for update it is log n time and for some reason it is dependent on uh, how many how many rows yeah so it is the length of the row uh, times uh, log n so the length of the row is uh, m m is uh, 200 it is uh, 200 times uh, uh, log n n is the uh, length of the array m times n 400 so log 400 is okay so similarly it is uh, like n log n time for each of the operation so in total all the operations are going to be 5000 uh, times uh, uh, some of the reason it is uh, n log n and this n is uh, 200 yeah so we're gonna make it 200 so basically this is gonna be a small number it's not so big it is 1 times um, 10 to the power of 6 it is a uh, still a small number that is why it can pass uh, now let me run it to check uh, something wrong yeah I should use the self dot tree dot query self dot tree uh, dot query and we need to query all of them yeah now let me submit it to prove uh, it works I think the difficult part may be up to here one thing is uh, uh, that we need to know how to use uh, uh, the template and maybe how to write the template by ourselves because the template is not fixed it can be changed according to uh, different problems but the structure is going to be the same and another one is uh, how to uh, recognize this is a binary index tree problem or it is a segment tree problem yeah. and maybe this is a, just a template problem it is easier but all others may be difficult so we need to practice to get familiar with uh, uh, how can we solve the problem by using binary index tree? Thank you for watching. See you next time.